Well, this is footage that has been viewed more than 30,000 times on social media. Good Samaritans working together to rescue a man from a burning truck on Houston South Side. And we are sad to report tonight that the man rescued has died from his injuries. But Fox 26's Gabby Hart is joining us live from the scene of the accident. Gabby, you spoke exclusively to the victim's family, who I'm sure are just so grateful that these Good Samaritans came in to help. Uh, I did, and I can tell you right now I'm at the intersection of Monroe and Scranton Road. And if you take a look right here at the grass, you can see that it's charred. Uh, there's still debris and glass left behind from that wreck. Uh, I spoke, like you mentioned, exclusively with the victim's son uh, this evening, and he is sending a message to the bystanders who jumped into action to help rescue his father. This shocking video shows the moment several bystanders put themselves at risk trying to save a man trapped inside of a burning pickup truck. I'm real grateful and thankful for those people that risked their life just to help my dad. It happened the day after Christmas near Scranton and Monroe Road. You can see a group of men throwing water on flames that are shooting from the vehicle. One man even spraying a small fire extinguisher while another attempts to break the window with a heavy object. Nearly one minute later, with smoke and flames still pouring from the vehicle, these good Samaritans were able to pull the victim from the truck. He's now identified as 49-year-old Victor Cervantes. Yeah, I have seen the footage and it hit me hard because I was my dad laying on the floor and uh, I'm thankful for those people that dragged him out of the truck and actually, you know, saved, saved this life for a little bit of time. Cervantes' son, Victor Martinez, tells Fox 26 that his father died at the hospital from smoke inhalation just two days later. He was really hurt for the trauma, for the, the crash, and then since he was inside the, the truck, and all the smoke and everything. Cervantes was just five minutes away from his family's home when the wreck happened. Details as to what caused the crash are still unknown. Right now, all of us are at, we're at shock and we just, we can't believe it. And right now, my main focus is the big brothers, taking care of my little brothers and making sure they're, they're, they're gonna get through it. Cervantes leaves behind five children, family and coworkers who all loved him dearly. He was just a loving guy from everybody. He's a, he was a mechanic. So, you know, he had he had a lot of people that he they, they knew him and loved him. Now his oldest son is tasked with trying to figure out how he'll pay for his father's funeral and help support his younger siblings. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put, you know, overtime at work, um, but I'm going to try my best to help my mom, help my brothers uh, financially as, as much as I can. Uh, now, that family has set up a fundraiser to help with uh, their father's funeral expenses, as well as uh, taking care of his children uh, during this difficult time. If you'd like more information on how you can donate, you can head over to my Facebook and Twitter pages at Gabby Hart News, and you'll find a link there. For now, I'm reporting live on Houston's South Side, Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.